Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Smark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a torrent with VPN master guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to torrent securely with a VPN so you never leak your IP address. However, there's a lot of different methods you could take advantage of depending on, you know, how you want to do it. I'm going to be outlining each different method in varying complexity throughout this video and how to stay safe and secure with each method. I'll be putting timestamps in the description as well, as well as my recommended VPN provider. Of course, it always does kind of vary, which is why I made the VPN quiz to help you specifically choose the most important characteristics of a VPN, since VPNs can vary in price and features. Anyways, guys, let's get into the first method, that being the simple way. Now, if you're familiar with VPNs and torrenting, you're probably using the simple method. Primarily what this method is, is just finding a magnet link, clicking on that magnet link, it loads it into your torrent client, and then from there, you're pretty much just going to be downloading that file. Now, this method is perfectly, uh, perfectly fine if you wanna do this method, and it's one of the methods I used for a long time before I kinda explored and found out some better, more automated methods. With this method, I do recommend a couple steps. One is downloading this cool little torrent file. Basically what this file is, is just something you run 24 seven. And what it does is it's actually a file from TorGuard VBN. It will show you your anonymized IP address. This IP address right here is not my real IP address. It's just showing me that my um, connection to the torrent protocol is anonymous and using a SOX5 IP address. So this is an automated way within torrenting itself to hide your IP address. Now there are different other ways too I wanna to talk about a little bit when talking about how to torrent safely with this method, but using the SOX5 method is probably one of the best ways to do it. I recommend using TorGuard VPN if you wanna do the SOX5 method. Um, they include a SOX5 proxy for a pretty good price and it's one of the cheapest VPNs to do so. And it's a really good VPN in itself. So let's go ahead and show you how that's set up. Basically what you do is go to the connection tab, enter SOX5, proxy.torguard.org, port 1080, and then your credentials for logging into TorGuard VPN. Once you buy VPN access, you'll automatically have access to SOX5. Log in here, click apply and okay. And pretty much no matter what you download, your IP is always gonna be this anonymized SOX5 proxy shared IP address, which means you're perfectly safe. If you also wanna do other things, you can also go to uh, the advanced settings and you can actually bind it to a network interface. So let's say you connect to a VPN and it has the interface right here. You would select that interface so that way it can only torrent when connected to that specific interface. This is kind of like a network kill switch and you might have heard that um, expression before and that's what it is. I do prefer the SOX5 proxy method because it doesn't really mess it up and I don't have to connect to the VPN. So for this method, that's pretty much it, pretty simple. Just the only con here is you manually have to find torrents from specific websites and load them into the client itself, which can be a little bit time intensive, especially if you're downloading a lot of Linux ISOs. So that's a simple method, good for noobs, very easy to set up and pretty easy to do. Next up for the second method, which is actually one of my favorite methods right now, and probably one of the best methods in my opinion for convenience and speed and stuff like that, is this video right here. I made an entire video on it that's only four minutes and 32 seconds, talking about how to stream 4K content almost immediately, pretty much for free. Now, I did get some stingy people in the comments saying, hey, Dom, it's it's not for free, you know, you, it's not actually free. Because you do need a VPN to stay secure and anonymous, and you are going to have to pay Real Debris and some of these other websites to have the ability to convert magnet torrent links or torrent links into streamable content. You're still getting that content for free. You're just paying a small fee to Real Debris, um, which, in my opinion, still counts as, as it's for free. $4 a month, even cheaper for Real Debris is an amazing deal. Cheaper than pretty much every streaming service out there. And it's a really easy method. So this method, primarily what it's going to be, as I outline in this video, if you're interested, um, check this one out. I made an entire video on it, like I said, and this is my preferred method. So pretty much what you do is you could just search a title, click on it, like I do Andy Griffith here, click on it here, click on the torrent link there, and it's pretty much gonna start streaming it immediately. Probably one of the best methods, super simple to set up. It only takes around five to 10 minutes to set up. Um, really good method here. And as you can see, 14 down votes from the people who don't wanna pay 
the price of a coffee per month, um, even though you're watching free content essentially. Um, so with this method, um, you do still want to use a VPN. I would recommend when you buy a real debris subscription after watching this video, um, use a VPN when buying that subscription, maybe even Bitcoin. Also, you want to keep VPN on on your device um, when using this method. Um, so if you're looking to stream torrent files in a super easy method, this is the method to go for. And I encourage you to check out this video on the channel, how to stream 4K shows instantly for free. I'll put that in the description as well. So this is a good method for that. Next up, let's talk about my third method that I've made a video on recently. That's going to be the automated Jellyfin Noobs Guide um, video. Now this method is probably one of the more complex methods out there. Definitely one of the more complex methods. What this involves is pretty much thawing a couple applications and then kind of syncing them together with a media server. This is a better method than the Streamio method in that like you have control of the files themselves if you ever want to share them around or keep them downloaded. Essentially what it is is automating the download process and automatically downloading files to your server to watch whenever you want. Instead of the first method where you have to minorly go look for them, this method automates all that process with a number of applications that work together to let you stream and watch content. It's more time intensive than the Streamio method in that you have to download stuff and you need good internet for that. However, you know, the perk is you get to keep some of the stuff and have it viewable without needing to stream it. So that's also a perk, but it's definitely more difficult, a little bit more time intensive to set up, um, but it's not too bad, honestly. And I still would recommend this and the Streamio method over the original simple method because that method just is like the noob's way to do it. And these methods are just better and more time intensive, time, uh, less time intensive if you can put some time to figure them out. So that's just my opinion. Anyways, guys, those are the three methods. The first method, as I outlined this video, is very simple um, and easy to do and probably how most people do torrents nowadays. Second method is a little bit more uh, tools to kind of figure out, but it's actually, maybe even easier than the first method. Takes around five to 10 minutes to set up. Watch that video that I outlined before and use a VPN there as well. Primarily, you're gonna be using a VPN on a device like Android TV, which is nice. Um, it, it, it's kind of like the best method, I think, if you're looking to watch something on Android TV, something like Nvidia Shield, Fire Stick, work well with that method, and you can use it on your computer and phone as well. Um, so that method, will be really good. And the third method, as I described before, the automated server method, probably the most advanced to set up, but also pretty cool in a lot of ways because you get to keep the files and download stuff and you kind of learn about how some of the media server process works. So whatever method you want to choose, that's up to you. I'll put the links for the two methods down below that I described for more detail to watch those ones. And thanks for checking out this video ahead of times, guys, and I'll see you again very soon.